All right, let's talk about Kyle Hamilton, someone who I would say has massively exceeded my own expectations, and a lot of people had very high expectations about Hamilton entering his rookie year. So let's talk about, uh, you know, I was lower on him coming out of college, so I'll bring that up and talk about why I was and how I've been very pleasantly surprised with him uh, as he has exceeded even his biggest fans' expectations, in my opinion, so far one year into his career. First, let's look at his pro football focus page, and I should mention that, well, I would have assumed that the safety position, looking at PFF grades, isn't the best indicator of future success. That's actually not the case. It's it's not as good as like how well it predicts offensive linemen or defensive linemen, but it still is a very good indicator. Safeties who perform in the 70s, like you see Hamilton did in each of his three seasons, they are rarely successful. So again, you can't look at everything as a blanket statement, and you can't sit here and say, because of this, he won't be successful, because there obviously are going to be expectations, but it's why I had some concerns about Hamilton. However, year one, he's finally had a year above 70, but he did it at the NFL level, which again, to be clear, a grade above 70 is good, but at the college level, good usually doesn't get you uh, drafted 14th overall, uh, but an 87.6 grade, that's not good. That's elite, and in fact, that was the best grade out of any safety last year. Again, only 600 snaps, not quite as many as some other guys, but whatever. That's an insane season. And if you look at it, he was good at everything. He was good at run defense. He was good at pass rush. He was good at coverage. I guess his tackling was only above average, but that's it. He was great across the board. So what happened? Why was he so good? Well, let's get into the film. This is a great play where there's actually a couple of steps to this play. This is in a playoff game uh, against Cincinnati, the one that really they almost won. And this is a key play in them being able to almost win where it's going to be zone coverage. And you see the zone Hamilton is supposed to cover. The way this works for Cincinnati is to have a receiver run uh, deeper than the zone Hamilton is supposed to cover and then one who runs kind of underneath. And typically the way that this could work is Hamilton gets pushed back a little bit due to the deeper route than when the underneath route outcomes there's a little bit of a bubble there could be a window there if Burrow decides to throw it there right when this play begins though Hamilton does a good job of understanding his assignment and this is something Hamilton's always been very good at even at the college level he's great at kind of covering over the middle areas I think that's one thing that Baltimore has really helped him out a lot in is they got this very unique player and knew exactly how to use him, knew what positions to put him in to succeed. And that's part of why we've seen him thrive so much. And I would argue, uh, you know, part of maybe why he didn't perform as well, if you look at in terms of like PFF grades and stuff at Notre Dame was because of just how much they asked of him to do. They wanted him to do everything. And here Baltimore is saying, hey, we got guys who can do stuff. Do what makes you special. And that's what he's doing. But anyway, so Burrow's going to scramble outside the pocket, just throws a check down. Okay, pretty simple. And you see Hamilton's not even the closest guy to uh, this situation, but watch what he's going to do. Watch him rush in, and he doesn't just make the tackle there. He knocks the football out as well, and uh, the Baltimore Ravens were able to recover. So that's a key play in that game, and these are the kind of things that he is capable of. A, he does the simple stuff. He's able to cover the guy he's supposed to cover. When someone comes into his zone, he can make that happen. And while he isn't the fastest safety, and that was something that got held against him by some people in the draft process, uh, I wasn't as concerned about that, but that was something that people can, uh, held against him. The reality is he takes good enough angles that it doesn't really matter. This play is another good one where, you know, I brought up uh, him being able to blitz, uh, but really it's not just uh, rushing the passer. It's also stuff like this where he's going to be unblocked off the edge right here because, uh, and he's going to be actually rushing in. He's supposed to be blocked by the receiver who's covering him, but due to the blitz, it's kind of a good scenario. Like watch how when this play begins, now he's basically unblocked and since it's going to be a handoff, it's a good situation, but he still has a lot of room to run. Again, a lot of times, guys in these situations, offenses will, by design, leave them unblocked. So, you still have to make something happen here if you're Kyle Hamilton. But that's going to be exactly what he does. He rushes in, and he is able to make that immediate tackle. That's just a great play from Kyle Hamilton. And him being able to do that kind of stuff consistently is, you know, the Ravens look at that and say, okay, well, let's have you do that then. Let's have you, you know, run these types of plays. Let's get you in situations where we're we're blitzing you uh, and we're making stuff happen. Again, he had, he had 33 uh, pass rush snaps out of his 600 snaps. And that's not even factoring plays like this one where he was supposed to be blitzing, but it ended up being a running play. 
again, he had 441 total snaps where the opponents were passing the football and he rushed on 33 of them. That means that over 7%, about 7.5% of his snaps uh, that were passing plays, he rushed the passer, which for a safety, that's a very high number. Again, it just goes back to the Ravens know who they have, they know their talent, and they use their talent well uh, like they do with Kyle Hamilton. And like stuff like this is another good example. I feel like he just understands what he can do very effectively, where it's, again, going to be very similar to that first play I showed you, just kind of uh, he's covering a zone uh, towards the outside. Uh, and this time, it's actually going to be really a check down route. That's going to be the main route to watch here for, uh, for Cincinnati. Watch how when this play begins, you see Hamilton, I think, doing a good job of understanding where his opponent is, understanding where he is, but also still being in position where he's looking at the quarterback because so many things could still happen. A, could be like a tip pass or something. At the end of the day, it's zone coverage. You're supposed to keep your eyes on the quarterback, but like what if Burrow gets outside the pocket? Well, then you want to be able to make sure you're aware of that. So making sure that he's not getting too far out and basically saying, you know what, if there's a throw here, it's going to be a completion, but there's not going to be that many yards after the play. That's his mindset here. Burrow says, well, let's see what happens. He throws it over there, and uh, Hamilton makes uh, basically an immediate tackle right there. Uh, should mention, this is actually uh, not the playoff game. This is the uh, the game before the playoff game. They played each other back-to-back -back weeks, uh, just uh, so you're aware. That's why it looks light out all of a sudden uh, because of that. But again, those are just the kind of things he's capable of doing, and it's not just that stuff. It's also stuff like what we're going to see on the next play. It's also stuff like this, where what's going to happen on this play is very simple play. Just going to be a quick, uh, you know, wide receiver screen to Jamar Chase. Let's be honest. How many times have we seen a quick wide receiver screen to Jamar Chase that shouldn't, doesn't seem like it's going to go for much and just goes for a ton of yards because it's Jamar Chase and that's what he does? A, a, a good amount, far more than we would think it would happen. And especially when on this play, a lot of times it would have to be Kyle Hamilton to come in and make a play who, you know, again, he's a rookie. He's not someone you expect to come in and just be great in those situations. However, right when this play begins, I mean, just look at the uh, look at how quick he reads that and how he's able to go in and makes a play happen. It's just really good stuff from Kyle Hamilton. And it's a good read. And again, that's something he does very well, especially when he's kind of not around the line of scrimmage, but just, you know, not too far deep. He just does a great job at being able to read these plays on this one. He was around the line of scrimmage, but just in general of, you know, I do wonder, could he Again, part of why I was concerned about him coming out of college is like, could he be a great free safety though? The team, a lot of people felt like he was someone who could play free or strong. I kind of felt like I liked him more as a pure strong safety and I was concerned about what he would do free safety wise. The Ravens have just only played him strong safety pretty much. I mean, they, they've, you know, he's had some snaps deep, but like for the most part, they're just putting him in a situation to succeed and he's succeeding. It's again, it's a video about Kyle Hamilton, but I could just as easily make this video about the Ravens and about their smart decision making of, hey, here's a player who has some weaknesses, but also has some insane strengths that could make him a superstar. Well, let's just draft him and only put him in positions to succeed. And now we have a superstar caliber player. And that's what they have in Kyle Hamilton. It's just really smart stuff by them. At least that's what I think. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. Always I'm hearing from y'all. And of course, as always, thanks for watching.